What's going on guys? I'm starting today's video off with the boy Trouser. It's been a minute since you guys have seen him and if uh, you don't know who Trouser is since I realized it's been a while since I've shown him in a video and we might have some new subscribers that don't know who Trouser is. He is our pet bull snake. We've had him for about two and a half years and I used to always show him getting fed at the beginning of the videos like a year ago it was just kind of a traditional thing I'd show uh, him getting a mouse fed to him but uh, yeah it's been a while since I've shown him in a video and I saw a couple comments not too long ago asking about Trouser and also asking about my pet turtles asking how they're all doing so I figured this would be a good time to show Trouser for any of you wondering about him he's still doing all right he's just been chilling I was getting ready to feed him a mouse so I figured this would be a good time to put him in a video again and uh, yeah, I guess let's get right to it. Let's get this guy a mouse. There you go. My turtles are also doing good as well. You can see my soft shell turtle hiding under the sand right there. You can see part of his shell sticking out the back. But he spends most of his day under the sand. So he's just chilling right there. Once I feed him, he'll come out to eat. But he's under the sand and then the Mississippi map is up here basking under the light and then we actually have a new addition to the turtle tank this guy is a baby yellow belly slider that my friend got me Let me grab him real quick he's just a little baby guy cute little turtle um, I've been requested to name him turbo the turtle so that is his name this is turbo and I am keeping him in this little separate container for right now because I don't want him to get worn out in this big tank because I don't think he's strong enough to climb up this ramp yet on his own. So I'm just keeping him in some shallow water uh, for most of the day and then every now and then I take him out to let him bask and then I just keep him in this little tank. It also keeps him separated from the other turtles for right now. I don't want them picking on him or trying to bite his feet or anything. But uh, yeah, I have a new little baby turtle as well. But overall, the turtles are doing great. But yeah, just a quick update on the turtles and Trouser for those of you who were wondering. Uh, Trouser was taking forever to eat. I was trying to feed him out of this uh, little cardboard box over here. I want to get it to where I can just feed him outside of his tank. So every time I open his cage, he doesn't think he's getting fed. Because right now when I open his cage and I stick my hand in there, he like looks at my hand as if it's a mouse. Because he's just used to being fed in the tank. I want to start feeding him outside of his uh, cage. And I was messing with him for like half an hour. He did not want to eat that mouse outside of his tank so I just threw him back in to feed him real quick but uh yeah ran out of daylight doing that and I wanted to just uh, keep you guys updated a little more on like the S14 I've actually been driving this thing around the last couple days and the S14 is doing great it still leaks a little bit of oil but uh, I do kind of want to fix it up and I think I might start dailying the S14 honestly I've been really liking it lately and we still need to get the diff welded in that and then we have the MR2 just chilling over here as well I know it hasn't been in the videos for a very long time, but I was mainly waiting on everything to be finished up with the new shop, and I think we're gonna start digging into the MR2 once we're all situated in the new shop. That's one of the main things I've been waiting for because uh, I wanna get a lot of nice quality parts for the MR2, so I don't wanna start spending a whole bunch of money on it until I know the shop is all good and everything is finalized, but more content on the MR2 will be coming hopefully soon. I really wanna get that thing up and going. I figured I should also do an update on the shopping go-kart. I've seen some comments pretty recently asking about this, asking when I'm gonna turbo it and start working on it again. And back when we first started the channel, this was a huge part of our growth. I know a lot of people subscribe just to see uh, videos about this thing, and I have not touched it honestly in a while. The last time we did anything with it was at the ice cream cruise. And uh, while we were out there, we toasted this bearing and then the chain came off, and I haven't touched it since. All it needs is a new bearing and throw the chain back on and it's ready to go. I think I'm gonna redo this jack shaft system once again uh, in the future once I start working on it again. I just think these bearings can't handle the load of everything going on back here. Just need some heavy duty bearings. Maybe get someone to make me something fully billet back there. Something like that. But that's for uh, another video. Uh, I wanted to do an update on it though because I know a lot of you guys are still interested in this and for those of you who don't know I built this thing last year. It's a five speed ATV engine in a shopping go-kart. has a clutch and everything. It's really fun, it's pretty fast, and I got this box in it uh, a couple months back. I showed it very briefly, and in this box is, hold on, it's kind of heavy. Damn it, I'm just gonna rip the sides of it off. Come on, come on, come on. Use my foot, all right. 
in this box is a full EFI kit for the shopping go-kart. I've been meaning to make a video on this for a while now. I just never got around to doing it, but I figured today would be a good day. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. So this is made by a company called Ecotrons, and this is designed for like pit bike style engines, ATV engines, and just really small single cylinder engines. So right off the bat, we have this little throttle body that comes in the kit. This has the same bolt pattern as the carburetor that comes with this engine. Their website sells different sizes of these to uh, match the one to your motor. But uh, this one matches mine perfectly and I will no longer have a carburetor on the shopping go-kart. It will have a little throttle body complete with a TPS, that's right, that is a little throttle position sensor right there on the side of it. And then it has a spot right up here for a fuel injector. And then on this side we have the uh, spot for the throttle cable. And uh, yeah, so that's just the throttle body. As you can see, we're already getting into some fancy stuff right there. Set that guy to the side. And then we also have a little baby map sensor right here. This is the most important guy because this will be reading our boost. It says it is good up to one bar, which is, I believe, around 14 and a half PSI. I forgot what one bar is exactly in PSI, but it, it's somewhere around there. Got a little map sensor along with the kit as well. And then this right here is just the uh, factory carburetor. This is just a spare one that I had. It's brand new in case I needed it. If you look on the back, you can see uh, where this one bolts up. And then this one has the same exact flange on the back, so this will completely replace that guy. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we also have the turbo that I'm gonna throw on there. This was actually sent to us by a fan a long time ago. The little compressor housing is right here. Just gotta get some screws to hold that guy on. But this is probably one of the world's smallest production turbos you can get. The outlet is literally one inch on here and it is just tiny. So we're gonna try to throw that on there, see how it does. It doesn't have any sort of internal or external wastegate, so I'm not sure how we're gonna regulate the boost. Um, I've seen other ones online that have an internal wastegate with a little flapper to control the exhaust, but this one is just all of it. I'm not sure if anyone makes like a tiny external wastegate that could like work on this. So I'm really not sure what we're gonna do about that. I'm probably just gonna see how much boost it makes and if it's not crazy, then we'll just go with it. But I know they uh, sell these online with a little internal wastegate. So I actually might end up getting a different turbo for it later on, just if that's an issue. But yeah, for now that is the turbo we are gonna use and we'll just troubleshoot it from there on. And then looking more into the kit, we have just some fittings, some hose clamps and hardware. And then we have this line, not sure what that is for just yet. And then we also have a wideband O2 sensor that goes into the exhaust to read our air fuel ratios. Very important for boosting any sort of engine if you wanna get an accurate tune on it. And then we have a little CDI, controls the spark, all that good stuff. Every pit bike or uh, small engine, motorcycle, ATV, whatever, we'll have one of those. And right here we have a complete wiring harness for everything all wrapped up. I'm just gonna leave that in the package for right now. And then underneath that is a little fuel pump because we are going to need fuel pressure to run the injector. We will no longer just have a gravity fed carburetor. We will actually have high pressure fuel lines running to the new throttle body. So that's pretty cool. Kit came with everything by the way. And then this is the little injector that goes onto that throttle body. Looks like it has a pretty standard injector plug. So. That's really cool as well. And here we also have a little ECU. Take this guy out of the package real quick. So this definitely appears to be like a little ECU, like I just said. And if that's the case, this will be in control of the TPS, the injector, and the map sensor. This will be monitoring all of that. And uh, that's gonna be really cool because it also came with uh, this little USB adapter that uh, converts this cable over, which I assume is to connect the ECU to like a laptop. And then we also have this DVD right here that has, it says ProCal software, once this focuses, it says ProCal software, ProCal manual, EFI tuning guide, installation manual. So I assume this disc has some tuning software on it 
and I'm really hoping that this is kind of like an S300 in like a Civic and that you can just plug this into a laptop and you have full access to the ECU and you can tune the fuel maps, watch the boost, watch air fuels and actually fine tune uh, the motor which would be sweet. So I have seen some videos on this and I've actually looked at some of the tuning software online and it appears you can definitely change the fuel maps and do some stuff like that. I'm not sure how advanced the software is but I think it's going to be really interesting and fun to play with and if it does work decently good at all I think it's going to be really awesome to see Brent try to tune this thing on a dyno with a little turbo kit. So I am really excited to get this thing thrown together and I mean if it works at all like I think it will I think it's just going to be awesome like I just hope it tunes out all right and we can actually make it work. But yeah that's pretty much everything that comes in the little EFI kit we also have like a little filter fuel filter in there, some extra lines. And also one more thing, this is a oil pump that I ordered as well. I'm gonna have the turbo on its own oiling system. So that's just the pump. I need to make a reservoir and maybe a little oil cooler. And I'm gonna have that oil pump pumping oil through its own system so it's not taking any oil from the motor because as far as I know, that motor doesn't build any sort of oil pressure and we're gonna need to feed oil to the turbo somehow. So that'll all be on its own system. All right, so I ended up unwrapping the wiring harness real quick because I was looking at this little ECU and I realized there's no way to plug into this to hook it up to a laptop to tune it. Unlike the Honda, as you know, they have a little port so it goes separate. Obviously this is a much, much smaller scale, but I was just curious and sure enough, the harness plugs into it right there so that plug goes into the front of the ECU and then off of the harness we have this plug right here that plugs into our cable and then the other end of that goes into this guy right there and then this USB will go into the laptop and the way it's looking is that this is just essentially a mini Honda in my eyes is how this system works I'm sure it's not as uh, updated and it's not as accurate and has all sort of crazy functions like a Honda it does but it's probably the same idea just uh, simplified down to a single cylinder pit bike engine so I think this is awesome even has a little plug on the harness for the injector of course and little relays has the grounds has the plugs that go to the TPS so this is sick. Honestly, I'm really excited for this. I wanted to do this for so long and actually the day I got this kit in the mail, I was ready to put this on the next day. I don't know what stopped me from doing it. We've just been busy, but I have been really wanting to get this uh, go-kart turboed. I have a lot of fun every time I work on this thing and then get to drive it after. I really do love this project and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for a while for me to do something on it, but it will be coming guys. Just wait till we get into that new shop. I'm telling you, we're gonna start knocking stuff out, having fun every day. So that's the plan at least. But yeah, just wanted to share this little kit with you guys. Hope you're excited because I honestly am really excited to get this all together and see if we can make it work. So there's a little bit of an update on the shopping go-kart. Sorry that I haven't got the turbo thrown on there just yet, but it will be coming. Just try to be patient. It's gonna be sick once it finally gets done. And uh, yeah, I know I also normally never do this, but if you guys want to see more content of the shopping go-kart, just give this video a thumbs up because I'm probably gonna title it something to do with this thing since I haven't made a video about it in a very long time. Leave a comment, just let me know. I wanna hear you guys' feedback because like I said, I know a lot of you guys watch this channel just to see what I'm doing with this go-kart. But it will be coming, guys. And uh, another thing is that Emilio just flew out to Atlanta today. Uh, he's going to be down there for a few days. His dad lives out there. We are going to be going to the Import vs. Domestic World Cup Finals, which is next weekend. And Emilio is going to be flying from Atlanta uh, over to Maryland, and we're going to meet up with him there. So we're not going to see him until we get over to Maryland for that event. And then after World Cup, uh, we're going to fly back to Colorado. And then literally the next day, we're heading out to Florida for Cletus and Cars. That's going to be on November 10th at Bradenton Motorsports Park, I believe. I'm a little late, but I also wanted to congratulate Cletus for surpassing 1 million subscribers. You're killing it, man. And uh, Brent's actually gonna be coming over tomorrow to help me with the hatch a little bit. And we are gonna be bringing the hatch. And all I can say right now is that we're gonna bring it and we're not gonna have a trailer of any sort. So give you guys a little bit of an insight on that. 
more to come on that tomorrow. He's coming over and we're gonna start doing things to it to uh, get it ready. But we pretty much need to have the hatch ready to go before we leave to World Cup because right when we get back, we only have uh, that day to leave right after. So like we're not gonna have any time to get the hatch ready if it needs something. So over the next few days, we're gonna make sure the hatch is ready to go for Florida and then we'll head out to World Cup, come right back, get the hatch and then take off to Florida. So it's gonna be a busy next couple weeks for sure, but it's gonna be really fun. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for right now. We also got a clutch back for the minivan. Clutch Masters sent the twin disc back for the van, so that can go back on. Just need to uh, put a training together of some sort just so we can get it running around again. This is the transmission that came out of it, the Sains gear set. This is that first gear that broke. You can see a couple teeth missing right there. These teeth are still here, but then this guy, kind of hard to see, that one right there is completely rounded off. So no more first gear. It needs a whole new input shaft because that first gear is part of it. So we still have to get that thing fixed. But uh, yeah, things are coming along. Just wanted to give you guys a update video on everything. We should also be closing on the new shop here very soon, hopefully within the next few days. So there's gonna be more content to come for that as well. Kind of sucks because right when we're closing on the new shop, uh, we have to fly out to uh, go to World Cup. And then right after that, we're gonna be on our way to Florida. So we actually might not have much of the new shop content coming for a week, week and a half, maybe up to two weeks from now, just depending on how busy we are. But everything's coming together, guys. I wanted to throw a quick update video together as well, let you guys know what's going on. And yeah, like I said, tomorrow Brent's gonna come over and I'm probably gonna do a video on the hatch and what we're doing to it. And yeah, I think that's about it. Wago's doing good as well. I think I'm gonna have Hayden make a manifold before I go any farther on Wago, or at least before I start putting the turbo kit together. And more on that later, but I wanted to throw something together for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Also real quick, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm also looking for a truck as well. I've been looking at like 02 to 04 Duramaxes, really looking to get a diesel, and I'm looking to spend about 10 grand. Just want something that's in decent shape, and for right now I just want to uh, get a little tow rig together so when we go to events we have our own truck, get our own trailer, and we don't have to be borrowing trucks and borrowing trailers. So I'm trying to find one. I'm really trying to get one by the time we go out to Florida. Ideally, if we could buy one in Florida, that would be best. But uh, if you're anywhere from Colorado all the way over to the east, uh, let me know. Message me on Instagram. Definitely interested. Just wanted to throw that in there as well. But thanks, guys.